Hello everybody, welcome to the Daily Sip. My name is Oliver and my mission is to bring you closer to organic Japanese green tea and today what we're gonna dive into is into the tasting of a new matcha which we found in Japan from Mr. Nakai. This is a Nokomidori matcha and we are uh, exploring a store-bought matcha. This is a premium matcha which I bought in the supermarket for $27 and I wanted to dive into the taste of the these two matchas and see a little bit what the difference is from uh, Mr. Nakai's premium matcha and this premium store-bought matcha. In terms of price, and this might be the first thing we talk about. So when we talk about higher grade matcha, then you're often talking about one dollar per gram. So this is often the price that you pay. So when you buy a 40 gram matcha then you often land in the area of 40 to even 45 dollars so these are prices we see with Mr. Nakai's matcha for example this one here is 45 dollars so it's quite a higher priced matcha and with the store-bought matcha we are just slightly below so um, here um, we are around 80 cents per gram and I really want to see difference and explain you a little bit where the difference is coming from in my opinion while I'm experiencing these two matchas. For sure we always bring uh, the chasen which I have here already soaked uh, in water and we're gonna have a look at the matchas and we're gonna have a look at the taste in a second stage. So first of all let's start with the color. So when I just Lay down my two plates and then I will take off each of the matchas. I'll take more or less a teaspoon. This is number one, so this is uh, Mr. Nakai. And then number two, we go into the store-bought matcha. So this is number two. Good. So we have more or less the same amount of both these. And we can already see it when we look at the colors of these two beauties. They're both quite good in quality. Often when you go to a lower or cheaper matcha, they often turn a little bit more in the yellowish. But already between these two, we can see there is a slight color difference. Here, uh, the matcha from Mr. Nakai is very beautiful green, strong, strong green color while here we drift off a little bit more into the yellowish color but the difference is very slight the difference is not too big so um, both of them have quite a good quality so all in all when we see okay the price difference definitely in terms of color you might say there's a small difference but all in all we are on a quite comparative or quite a comparable level of these two matchas so next step let's go into the taste of these two so i brought the same chawan for both matchas then very important the sifter we always sift the matcha to get rid of the crumbs and to have a very fine matcha powder so i can show you this here so it's super easy actually to sift the matcha you just Put it through the sifter it takes you maybe around five to six seconds and then most of the powder is in your chawan and this is already done voila first one we have successfully accomplished so just to show you how this looks like once it's sifted so you really see how beautifully fine the powder has become before we had a little bit of crumbs, now absolutely fine. Second one the same, so we're gonna sift the powder through, same here. Good, okay. Very close and finished. Good, okay. Now we have sifted the powder. I want to have a first smell of the, of the powder. So pretty fine. 
I get a little bit of creaminess, a little bit of cashewiness. This is typical as soon as you have a longer shaded uh, matcha. So a matcha which is higher quality is often shaded. And this is just to push up the um, ingredients to push up the minerals, especially push up the theanine, push up as well the caffeine. So the caffeine content is a little bit higher with the shaded matchas. There's always a little bit this creamier and um, a little bit more um, cashewy, nutty, um, kind of um, a little bit thicker, full body flavor profile, which I'm getting later in the taste, but it gets a little bit of this, it nearly goes a little bit into a milky, milky uh, in milky tones. Here clearly super fresh. So here when I smelled it, it was for me like a fresh ice cream out made out of matcha, not one which is made with cream ice cream, but one which is maybe just the ice cream and the matcha or the ice and the matcha. So much fresher, much more vegetal, spinachy, a little bit of edamame, which I'm getting while well, here. Lighter, a little bit more of an almondy, nutty flavor profile. So, and a little bit more this milkiness, which I'm getting from it. Main difference, which I would say also out of the perspective, uh, when we look at the matcha powders, which you have seen before. So here we are really into kind of the realm of more vegetal, a little bit fresher, fresher taste I'm expecting from this matcha. Meanwhile, when I'm looking into this matcha, here we are much more on a, a richer theanine and richer amino acid side. So quite interesting in terms of taste difference already just by using my nose. Now, next one is the Chesen. So I'm using today a Chesen. You can also use a milk frother, that's no problem. Just soak uh, your Chesen, very important, because then you can actually bend the bristles quite good and nothing happens and they won't break. If you use it dry, then this is a result you might get. So when you see uh, this Chesen here is quite broken, and here often this happens when you're driving into your matcha without soaking it. You don't have to soak it for long. One minute is enough and then the bamboo already takes up the water and it gets much more, becomes much more flexible without breaking. So that's the beauty of soaking. Always do that uh, when you use um, the chesen. As I said before, milk frother is a tool which is quite a good replacement for a chesen. Here you just have the nice sound and the nice movement as well, which you get into the preparation of your small little tea ceremony at home. But if you just want to have your matcha and you want to have it quick, you don't want to soak it, you don't want to wait until it's soaked, then definitely a milk frother is a good option which you can use. Good. Now, I preheated the water 70 degrees Celsius, which is around 165 Fahrenheit. And then we just gonna whisk it. I show this here with the camera so you can see how easy this is. So we just put in the chesen and then we make this W zigzag motion. And then you get also a beautiful foam. So you see this, uh, this tea is foaming quite well. Very beautiful, a little bit of bigger bubbles, but also quite a decent amount of smaller bubbles, which then make kind of a smooth and silky texture, which is beautiful with the, when you enjoy your matcha. And now we do the same here. I want to wash it just a little bit with the water. Same here, and we do the same with the matcha of Miss Nakai. Good. Now we have this, I put it back. So in terms of bubbles, when we look, so here we have a little bit more of bigger bubbles, some of them, here we have some of them too, but they're a little bit lower in the amount of the bubbles, but all in all, two matches still very similar to each other. And now, that we have a little bit more visibility on uh, 
The two matches, I will pour them into two glasses. So this is the one from Mr. Nakai. And here my supermarket premium matcha. Was not very successful in using the same amount of water. So to be fair to both of them, have to bring them on the same level. A little bit more of whisking. Et voilà. So now we have the two matchas. When we have a look at them, so we see they're quite similar. Here we have a little bit more of this decent, a little bit stronger green. Here we have a little bit of lighter green. Goes a little bit more uh, in a lighter, slightly, slightly yellowish, especially when I look at the foam. So the beautiful green color, you really can see it on the foam. Here it's a little bit more yellowish, while here we have a beautiful, beautiful green color. But all in all, these two have a, also a decent foam. They have a decent kind of look. It doesn't go into yellowish or brownish, grayish color. So quite, quite nice. But now I'm super curious how they taste. And this is now where the battle begins of the real taste and of the real kind of structure of the taste profile of these two matchas. Let's start with the store-bought premium matcha. Mm -hmm. So already here, I have in the beginning a little bit of astringent tones. So uh, it shows a little bit more of astringency, which is for me a sign. And this I already had in the smell a little bit. While I got much more of a little bit of this milky, I got much more of this uh, cashewy, a little bit uh, almondy flavor profile just by smelling the tea from this one here and here it was much greener it was much fresher a little bit citrusy even um, it's confirming now in the taste when i'm tasting this matcha it's much more of a direct first note is a little bit citrusy so it drifts off in astringency and then unfortunately it has a little bit of a flat taste meaning so it has a kind of a a certain amount of this green, typical green, fresh green taste profile, which is coming from a matcha. But um, especially when you're getting a little bit more and more into matcha and you start in the end to really have um, a little bit more of a finer taste profile or kind of you're able to taste the finer notes of the matcha tea, then you will start to see that normally a good matcha kind of has a little bit of different curves or different levels of taste developing in your mouth. So here I got this citrusy, a little bit fresher notes. It's going off quite strong in the astringent direction. It's not super astringent, but still astringency is quite present. And then there's this green, a little bit edamame, a little bit fresh spinach flavor, and it stays quite flat. And this shows me that the amount of amino acids and essential oils are, might be a little bit lower because it's just very, very, you might say a little bit monotone in its flavor profile. When we go into the match of Mr. Nakai, now I'll have a sip of it. Mm. Already very, very, very different, and really this kind of a little bit creamy, almondy, nearly milky tone really confirms. And for me, out of my experience, it's really kind of a very decent level of essential oils, but also a very decent level of amino acids. And the amino acids they give just this a beautiful roundness to the tea. Here, I got a first I have a beautiful kind of. I have this nuttiness, I get a lot of cashew tones. Then I have a nice fresh underlying tone, which is coming in. I have a little bit of edamame. It's a little bit less spinachy, so still quite edamame sweet. So when you eat edamame, if you ever had them, they're a little bit like uh, green beans and they have kind of a small sweetness, but still they have kind of a smooth, nearly 
um, Leandy a little bit of a, of a sweet buttery notes with it. And this I'm getting also from uh, drinking this matcha. And it's beautiful to see how in the beginning I have a little bit more of this, uh, of this nutty flavor. Then there comes more of this flavor of edamame, a little bit of spinachy. And then it kind of goes back into a very smooth, silky tone in terms of the texture. It's very, very silky. And then th this more, a little bit, yeah, it's for me, it's buttery notes, which I'm getting. So very smooth, silky tones, super sweet, non astringents which I'm getting. So it's kind of different levels, which I'm kind of having an experience of. And this is the beauty once you're getting a little bit into the land of matcha. And especially when you go to higher grade matches, this is a decent matcha. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely fine to drink. I would rather drink it as a latte because it has quite a strong vegetal flavor, a little bit, quite a good power in this vegetal flavor. Meanwhile, with this one, if I add a little bit of milk and milk often, so always you use plant-based milk, but also these plant-based milk there can be quite strong like um, oat milk, or uh, we even have, for example, soy milk. Almond milk is a little bit lighter, so with this one, maybe almond milk would be better fitting. But unfortunately, these fine notes, they disappear a little bit in the milk. And that's why this tea, I suggest you highly to drink it pure. If it's not sweet enough, then maybe take a date, which you eat on the side of the, of the matcha, just to have this very beautiful, smooth, sweet flavor of the matcha. And then you can even sweeten it up a little bit more with a date. Meanwhile, with this one, I wouldn't shy back from using um, from using uh, some kind of milk. I would say even oat milk. Mm. It's just in the beginning, it's quite astringent. So I definitely would need to eat something sweet with it to just to smoothen it down a little bit. But all in all, it's not a bad matcha, but it's just a little bit flat in its taste texture. It has this astringent tone and then this quite simple baseline of a little bit fresh spinach. There's not too much edamame. There's a green flavor and it says like that. There's a little hint of sweetness coming in the end, but I'm not sure if this is coming now from uh, the matcha, which I got from Mr. Nakai and I tasted before. Mm. But this definitely, wow. It's really full, full bodied, round, l smooth, just beautiful matcha to drink. I must say, I really do like it. Okay, I've chose it. Also, uh, like two months ago, we were looking for a high grade matcha in Mr. Nakai, where we already have the washimin and Sui from. Um, so this is a little bit the difference you get. So definitely when you go to the supermarket, you, you choose a little bit this premium matcha. So here we have 40 grams around 28, 27 to 28 dollars. And here we are around uh, between 14, 45. This one is 45 dollars. So you see there's quite a difference in terms of pricing. But in the end, the pleasure of drinking this matcha is much higher. But if you're not very advanced, stick first to a little bit the cheaper option or to latte grade matches which you can also use and then slowly work your way up into the higher grade matches because you don't have to spend directly this 45 dollars it can be really a step-by-step -step approach and then over time you really appreciate it and you don't have to drink it every day you can also do this once or twice a week and uh, drink leaf teas on the side so this is this. I hope you like this small, small sessions about uh, comparing a supermarket premium matcha versus the premium matcha of Mr. Nakai. I tried to show you a little bit of the, the difference. I hope you liked it. Let me know um, what uh, you thought about the video. Leave a comment below and then I hope I see you soon. Bye bye.